Mannington. Uh, several of them have come tonight, and I appreciate that. They put up with us at Cindy and I all the time, and here they are tonight to come with us. And uh, I believe they came to hear you preach, brother, so we're going to turn you loose, I think, whatever uh, uh, Brother Tim. It's good to meet, meet uh, your new pre preacher, too. Uh, God bless you. I, I can tell all right, right now we've got a kindred spirit, and... Uh, he said he's going to wear a bow tie, and I told him he disappointed me because he'd come out with this straight one. I told him I wear a no tie. <laughs> you know, I would say that. Uh, I'm not staying here long, that other guy. How many folk uh, still have their parents alive? Now, every time y'all go to your parents' house, are they always home? Someone's picking up. No, it's like a. Yeah, yes. They're always home. Mm -hmm. Just about. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I don't always. I don't just come here because I'm the preacher and I don't just come here because it's my job. I know that if I come out to my father's house, that my daddy may not be here at the time, but he's going to get here. Amen. And I just wait. And he's been here all day today. Yeah. And uh, I'm just very thankful for the experience we've had thus far. I mean, the Spirit has been here this morning and this evening. I would just tell you, I know that, you know, tonight's the crowd. I mean, it's a Sunday night crowd. But, you know, you hit Wednesday, you start hitting down that swamp. Look, just come out to your daddy's house tomorrow night. You don't know what you're going to miss. It's going to be big time. Brother Dan, come and share what the Lord has put on your heart this afternoon, later in the afternoon. 